Hello guys, how to do this nice combination of pictures and nice effects using adjustment layers. So I'm gonna start with these pictures. You can see this guy I cut, it's not the perfect cut because the edges are a bit white. So I'm gonna remove it for now and I'm gonna select the face of the horse because that's what I want to be in front of the guy. So maybe I should make this a little bit bigger. And that's fine because that's where the leg would be as you can see here okay so now get the pen tool and right click on it make selection okay then select the layer of the horse and go to select select and mask and then increase the radius put it on smart radius and increase it until you get remove all the background maybe shift edge put it a bit less and I think this looks not bad you can always keep tweaking until you get the perfect result I think that's fine okay now get the brush tool here and just add whatever disappeared from the left side because the left side doesn't have hair so it's easier to select easier to paint back make sure you have the plus sign on in the brush tools because you're adding not subtracting okay I think this looks fine so Always try to use decontaminate colors just to check if it has a better result. And let's see again. Actually has a better result. Okay, so now make sure you put output to new layer. So when you press OK, it has a new layer of a horse, which doesn't remove the layer of the actual horse, but it has a new layer. Okay, so now let's bring back the guy and position it here and let's edit transform and flip horizontal so this guy can this leg can look like it's like outside of the body of the horse and let's put it underneath the horse and now you can see starting to look good maybe let's increase the size a little bit Okay, this looks fine. So now get the eraser tool and erase this leg. And this looks much better. Now go to the horse again and delete these excess. And that's perfect. So how to delete the white edges on the guy. So just Hold control and select on the box of the man and go to select, select and mask and the same thing. Just press on decontaminate colors and you can see most of it is gone. You can always tweak it a little bit, but I'm scared for the hand it might just disappear. And then try now. It looks fine. Okay, so I changed the layer names to be more clear to you. The horse head, the man and the horse body and I added a sword. I got it from Google, it's a PNG file. So now I put it on the hand and then right click on it, rasterize and get that razor tool and just erase. Now it looks like he's catching it. Right click on it, go to blending options and add outer glow, put it on 14 screen and change the name to sword and this looks fine. Okay, now after you have a glow here, we have to go and add effects to the man. So add adjustment layer on, on top of the man only. So let's add levels and put it on 73. And now right click on it because it's on top of the man layer. Create clipping mask, it connects to it when you create a clipping mask. Now get the paint and put it on black foreground and just erase and let it only on his leg. So there's some kind of shadow on it. Now add another one which is color balance and put it on 41 and 25 and now he looks he has the color of the background 
the light of the background and right click and put it on create clipping mask now it affects only the man because the background already has that color so now add another one exposure and put it on this much and create clipping mask again so it connects only to the man and erase some of it on this side and what else you can add now on top of everything add exposure and put it on something like that and then add also saturation and put it maybe 36 raise it a little bit from the guy it's affected so much and now add maybe some contrast the last three I'm using it for all the document I'm not adding any clipping mask so it affects everything and it's on top layer and we're done this looks nice